Intelligent Systems Explained. What is an intelligent system? So intelligent systems are computer-based solutions designed to simulate human intelligence by sensing data, processing it, and making either autonomous or semi-autonomous decisions. So what we mean there is it's able to gather data and collect it, process the data, and then act on that data. And when we say autonomous or semi-autonomous, it means, is there going to be human involvement in the process taking place? So based on what's presented, either the system can manage things itself or human input is then required to take an action or improve an action or the system itself guides the human behaviors action. So we've got a variety of categories that we're going to be talking about in this actual unit, but that's essentially what an intelligent system does. Their purpose is to enhance productivity, accuracy, and responsiveness in tasks that traditionally require human reasoning, such as problem solving, learning, recognizing patterns, and adapting to changing environments. So these all different types of actions there obviously are done by humans and human intelligence. But if we can train our systems and guide them and improve their knowledge bases and develop things known as neural networks, we can make it so the systems not only can do the thinking, but the acting as well. And the systems can be responsive to data and their environments. So they're extremely powerful tools in the workplace. And they're only going to grow as we move into the future with growth in the areas of AI and machine learning. So these systems are widely used in areas like healthcare, automation, customer service, and data analytics. As we've learned about with data science, we get so much data from big data systems and it's accumulated from a variety of sources from all over the internet. Essentially, these systems can gather that data, interpret the data, and then recommend the best courses of action. And in the case of a fully autonomous system, or as we uh, like to refer to um, a, a structured decision support system, it can act on it all on its own without any type of human intervention. It has the rules and procedures it needs to be autonomous and act on its own. So that's why these systems are intelligent. They can do things on their own accord, pending their categories. All right, but essentially they help improve decision making. They also reduce human error and human error can happen for a variety of reasons, whether it be through their own interpretation of data, humans get tired from repetitive tasks. These systems, okay, they are always doing the same process consistently and to the same standard. So they can do the same process thousands of times without any wavering between, pending that the hardware is up to scratch that's supporting the system. But they're extremely re reliable and standardized okay supporting that and hopefully lowering human error and can also support this type of processing in real-time interaction within complex environments so they can do this stuff live okay they're responding to data live so it's like you're paying for virtual employees and they can just make on the spot recommendations so in the basic area of switching things on and off or highlighting certain anomalies within systems or things we should be aware of they can do that stuff immediately all right, but we're obviously getting to a point as well with these intelligent systems too, where they can act as experts. And that brings us into our different categories of intelligent systems, that of decision support systems, expert systems, and machine learning systems. All right, and decision support systems we're talking about, obviously, as the name suggests, they support the decisions of humans and guide their decision-making processes. But then with expert systems, they can act as an expert themselves and sometimes be systems that do the actual tasks themselves and do these high-end jobs that we usually expect from human experts and I've mentioned here two ML systems because obviously machine learning is where we've got our growth because with machine learning it's not just that the system has a knowledge base now it has a neural network and is able to learn from human behavior so it can constantly improve on itself as an intelligent system based on the data that it's processing the human input responding to the data and that's how a lot of our AI platforms work these days they see what you as the user like and they respond to it and that's the type of output they give you based on your feedback and next input as a response to what they've given you from the system. So it gives you what you like, essentially. So we can train AI through machine learning algorithms to do what we want. So it's all very exciting stuff coming up in this unit of intelligent systems. But essentially, we are making systems that are smart. 
And these systems can operate either autonomously or semi-autonomously with human input. And it is a major area of growth going forward. And we're going to see more intelligent systems entering the workplace to manage tasks either fully on their own or supporting human decision making. So we'll get into this unit, but hopefully you've got a foundation of what an intelligent is going into this unit.